So guys, we picked up this 2006 Peterbilt from IA Auction. Today, we're gonna find out if we have any more hidden damages. We're gonna start off by taking off the transmission. So stay tuned. Well guys, the first day we're working on this truck. We're gonna get some work done. Our goal for today, hopefully drop this transmission and figure out if there's any more damage other than this bell housing right here, this flywheel housing. The engine mounts look fine. The engine looks fine. Looks like it's just the flywheel housing that's cracked. We got the starter down. We got the transmission jack underneath. We're gonna jack it up because you can see the engine is going down in the back. So as soon as we jack it up, we're gonna block up the engine. That way we could uh, start removing this transmission. Inside, we got the shift forks out. It does shift. We ran it through the gears, clutch. Everything's working great. So we believe the transmission should be fine. And next thing is taking off this tank right here. And we are gonna have to straighten this frame out and possibly sleeve it. Guys, check it out, we scored big time. The both fuel tanks are completely full to the tippy top. So basically our trip to Eugene was free, covered by these two <laughs> fuel tanks. As well as, check out these tires. These front tires are 29560. Pretty much the only company that makes them is Continental and it is 900 bucks a tire. Yeah, and Michelin makes them this exact size. All right, we got the engine blocked up. Because the, en the engine mounts are still bolted on. Yeah. Only thing we're worried about is the engine right here that could possibly fall, fall down. Go ahead. So you guys, I did think it was a signature 600, but after I ran that serial, it is a ISX 565, which is still a really good engine. It's the 870. And the step is not bent. Somebody basically put the long side downwards. All we have to do is flip it over. So the step is completely fine, no damage at all. These bolts around the transmission, all they are is just 5.8. Or 16. Yeah, or 16. I've right, got the transmission all disconnected, pulled out the side, put the shifter on, transmission, everything's just shifting like butter. Three, four. So yeah guys, just like we thought, the transmission is totally fine. No problem with it. Main problem is of course, just that flywheel housing. Next up, just drop that clutch and remove the flywheel housing. So we got the clutch out. There's lots of life left on it, but the only problem is, you see this ear right here that holds this spring? One of them is broken off. We got this one right here. And here's this one, basically broken off. So we're not sure if we want to risk it putting this clutch back on. It's not a bad clutch, easy pedal. But just because of that one ear that's broken, I'm gonna have to get a new clutch. You guys check this out. I'm gonna remove this engine mount. It's basically completely hanging in the air. The engine's on its own. <laughs> There's no transmission, nothing. It's about to, it's cracked. I know, I know. That's why I'm holding it with my hands. Uh oh. All right, flywheel's off. All right. Look at all that broken up flywheel housing. Next up, we gotta remove all those bolts right there. Yes, sir. Okay, the moment of the truth. There's a broken one, oh, it's a broken flywheel housing. Everything else over there looks good. Yeah, engine is perfect. Engine is perfect, no damage. There it is, flywheel housing is out <laughs> in like 10 different pieces. 
and that's the basically whole engine mount that broke off the housing but yeah guys so now we know for sure that transmission's good no damage on the engine and transmission this is the only damage there was so we can sleep good tonight now all we got to do is just find the numbers on here and order the correct one